Kim's cash flow budgets. Welcome back. Um, I believe this is like my third or fourth video, so we're still testing everything out. So I just want to thank you for being here. I appreciate you all. And um, today we will be doing my emergency fund envelopes. So let's get started. First one is opportunities. Other people call this the emergency fund, but I call it emer er, opportunities only for the fact that I watched this video recently and it said if you have like an emergency fund, you're putting it out there. You're like, yep, I'm saving for it. Something emergency is going to happen. So this way, opportunities, if something comes or arises, I have funds to say, yep, yeah, I want to go try it. Let's do it. And this way it is open to anything. Um, so this is getting $10. So let's get this out. We don't need this anymore. Opportunities. The initial balance, we have to write zero. Um, and we are going to write seven deposits. I am doing all these videos um, very close together just for this week. I'm going to spread it out for um, the coming year. Um, I just, the time went away from me with New Year's and um, visiting people and that. So that's why these are so close together, but um, I will get on a schedule and then we will be all set. So we're depositing $10 and the balance will be ten dollars so here we go ten um ten dollars for opportunities home and home remodel is getting ten dollars as well so let's do this i forgot to put initial balance is zero and seven and it's hard to with a family of six to find time just to sit down where it is quiet um it is such a challenge so if i can get um videos done all in one um for this week i'm going to do it because school starts next week homeschool starts um husband goes back to work so it will be a challenge but we can do it because we can do anything. $10, here we go. All right, home remodel is getting $10. There um, we go. Um, car maintenance. Um, this is a huge one to have because um, our car is um, a Lincoln Navigator and gosh, she's been giving us some trouble lately. Um, she is a, a 2012, so um, this will be nice to have just in case, like we need a new brakes before Christmas. And it's just, you know, it always comes up all at once. So we are going to add a 20 deposit. We're going to add 20 and balance of 20. Oh, I'm super excited about this because she's always creeping up and saying she needs stuff. Uh, um, if you're asking why I'm saying she, her name's Bertha. I don't know why I called her, but she has a name and there it is. All right, health and dental. Health is, we do have coverage. Um, here I pay every month for um, benefits in that. Um, since I am a stay-at-home mom and my husband works in the States, I need coverage for me and the kids. So um, this is more like the, um, if we have prescriptions, like it's two or four dollars, whatever, maybe, or the, you know, um, our dental only covers 80%. So whatever the, the balance is, this is what's going to cover it. So it is getting... Twenty dollars, zero balance, deposit. This is going to be a quick video, um, but needed. Twenty dollars. So health and dental is getting a twenty. Um, the next envelope is debt um, snowball. Um, debt snowball. 
we do have debt um, not a lot but we do have it um, I'm still figuring that out if we're going to share it or how we're gonna work this up but um, this is to help um, minimize we go from the lowest one and get rid of it and then put that payment on the next one so this is getting $20 um, for today and zero balance and deposit adding 20 and um, 20 of the balance. I'm just sitting here thinking why do I have money left over so I have to think about what I did wrong. But for the emergency funds, those are all them. So we have debt snowball, 20, health and dental, 20, car maintenance, 20, and opportunities got 10. So I just want to thank you. I'm just going to turn it off for two seconds, figure out why I have money left over, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I'm back in action, people. I figured it out. License tags, um, it had 10, but in my books, it has, you can see, five. So we just had to switch that. Um, so I switched it in here. It looks terrible now. I have the five in there. I had to cross that out and then put a readjustment, $5. So that is why, because I forgot that we were doing in the same video, we are doing our holiday funds as well. So let's get on that. Um, I don't have envelopes yet for that because I've been waiting for the A6 binder. So I figured I'd have it by now, but I don't. So what we're going to do is make up the cards for it because making the envelopes for it might just be a waste of time if I'm just going to do the um, the binder for it anyways so what we're going to do we're going to count how many we have we have one two three four five six seven eight so we need eight cards one two three four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I will just put the money with the card and maybe grab an envelope or something along that line and just put them off to the side because the envelope should be coming in this week. Cross your fingers. So that's what's gonna happen. So for the first one, we're going to write the category down, is Christmas. Yes, we do have a Christmas already, but this one is going to be for food. For Christmas Day, for Christmas parties, for um, if people drop by for a visit. Um, we're going to start in January of 2022, because this is the year, people. And we're going to do $5. So $5. So the holiday funds, the total amount of money is $45. So let's just count this first. So you can see it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45. So there it is. So let's do this. We're depositing dollars and balance is five dollars so we're going to take this we're going to take this and just put it off to the side until our envelope comes next category is new year's you know you always need stuff for new year's appetizers and some beverages if you know what i mean um personally i don't drink but I may have like a drink here and there, but um, January, but if people come over, you want to, you know, have stuff available for them. We are starting at zero balance. We're going to write this in, deposit, 
and we're doing five dollars and balance is five dollars again we're just going to take the card make sure it's by itself and put it off to the side next category is valentine's day which will be here before you know it and i'm just starting this so whatever little um amount helps we're going to do five dollars uh, January 2022 and zero balance so let's put a new one in deposit we're putting five dollars balance is five dollars remember to um, if you like this video let me know down below in the um, comments if you want me to do anything new or you have ideas Remember to put it down there. Don't forget to subscribe as well because I am just starting out and I need all the love and the family from YouTube um, to get this going. So let's do it. March break. So March break consists of when the kids are off, if we want to do anything, um, you know, go to the park and get snacks or who knows what will be open in March break. So it's just up in the air right now. Uh, January 2022, zero balance start. 107 deposit. And if you can hear my kids again, sorry, they're just playing, playing very quiet though. Five and five. Okay, March break has five. Put it off to the side. Um, I did get like different kinds of um, binders, colors. I believe I got blue, black, pink, yellow, and um, purple, I think. Next one is Easter. Easter is always fun. I always do um, what I got my kids for Easter. I didn't do it for Christmas this year. I totally forgot. This year, you, I, I, I know everybody can relate. The, these past few years just come and gone and your mind's not in it and Easter is giving five dollars January 2022 zero balance one seven deposit and we're doing five and balance is five so there that okay so summer holidays I just put all together um, when I was doing that, I didn't have a calendar near me. Um, and I didn't, n I think there was three. I think there's a civic holiday, Labor Day and July 1st. So I don't even know. So we just did that as all in one. So we will do that like that. Zero balance, one. I'm trying to get this all done before my husband comes home because the dogs will bark and it will get crazy in here real fast. So that's giving that $10. Then I need to switch over my book. I'm just looking over here. Then we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Um, usually we go to my mom's for Thanksgiving, um, but this year with COVID and that, we stayed home. But um, when we do go to my mom's, you know, we help out with dishes and milk and buns and all that kind of stuff. So that's getting $5. Again, we're starting in January of this year, zero balance. And today's date, we're depositing. And what are we depositing? We are plus five. And there. And our last one of the holiday funds is Halloween. I usually budget a um, hundred for Halloween because my oldest doesn't dress up anymore. And then I use that for candy. And then the three um, younger ones, um, we always go to Value Village or like a consignment to get um Halloween costumes so it's a little cheaper than going to like Walmart and buying a brand new one but sometimes we do do that so this way we have the funds if either way we do it 
So the last one, date, description, amount added, and balance is $5. So it all worked out. All right, so I will put those when we get our binder. Um, and that is our emergency funds and our holiday funds. So I appreciate all of you for coming on this adventure with me, um, this journey of um, getting the budget on track for 2022. So I thank you all. Remember to comment down below, say hi, um, tell me where you're from, um, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you all, wherever it is, morning, afternoon, night. I send all my love to you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.